Pastor Gozi from Manchester. Can we welcome Pastor Gozi? was. 
Hallelujah. It was very difficult. Hallelujah. It was not easy. Hallelujah. You know, it was not easy to live up to these words that we are about to read right now. Hallelujah. I will read. It says that in Luke 23, Luke 23, verse 34. Hallelujah. Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Hallelujah. And they divided up his laws by casting lots. Amen. Amen. Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Amen. Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, it is not easy to live up to those weights. Hallelujah. If you can remember what Jesus Christ has gone through. Hallelujah. He has been, you know, he has been whipped. The Bible says he has been whipped 39 times. Hallelujah. Not only by a shambo, but then during those times, the people who would whip you would go, you know, they would compete on who's the best to whip during those times. Hallelujah. You know, when they whip you, they will stretch, you know, they will stretch the whip, it will come to your body, hallelujah. And when it comes to you, it will rip, you know, it will tear your flesh away, hallelujah. You know, Jesus Christ held on, he bled, hallelujah. He could, you know, he could have done something, but he remembered you and me. He remembered how he loved you and me, hallelujah. He remembered his assignment, he remembered why he was there, hallelujah. Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, if you remember, Jesus Christ was not on the way. The Bible says that, you know, they mocked him. So much so that they put, you know, the crown of thorns into his head. Hallelujah. They pressed it down. You know, he started bleeding. Hallelujah. Not, not that that was enough, but they started insulting him. They started, you know, they started throwing things at him. Hallelujah. You know, I can imagine, if you're with me, take the walk to Calvary and see Jesus Christ carrying his cross, hallelujah, alone, hallelujah, walking, hallelujah, just, you know, next to being unconscious. That's how difficult it was. That's how painful it was. Hallelujah. He was walking there. Not only that, but remember, they laid him down onto the cross. They laid him down onto the cross, hallelujah. And he beats his hand with nails. He beats his feet with nails. They hanged his body, his weight. Took his pain. You know, he was not hanging on the ropes, but he was hanging through his knees. The pain was so excruciating. And I can imagine Jesus Christ, you know, with his head on the cross, taking his breath, striving to find it, and says, Father, Forgive them. I want you to hold on just a bit there. He says, Father, forgive them. You know, Jesus Christ has forgiven. Jesus Christ has the ability to forgive. He says to the daughter, Your sins I have forgiven. Daughter, go. Hallelujah. He says, When you pray, Say, Father, forgive us as we forgive. He walked this earth teaching forgiveness, illustrating forgiveness. Hallelujah. He says, Father, forgive them. This time, it was happening to him. And it got to me. It got to me. Jesus Christ didn't deal with the people who were doing these things to him. At the time of pain, at the time when 
way he couldn't take it no longer. He looked at the father and said, Father, I don't know if I'm talking to people who are here Amen. today. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know if you have been offended. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, Satan will assign people yes. to come and offend you yes. in everyday yes. life. Hallelujah. Yes. Satan will assign people to come and block you from your blessing. Yes. Satan will assign people to come and delay you from your blessing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, sometimes you get so offended that you don't want to even see the people who offended you. That you don't want even to know what they are doing. You don't even want to know what happened to them. You get so offended. Hallelujah. But Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, he said, Father, he taught us when you reach that stage as a Christian, the first goal is to look towards forgiveness. Yes, Hallelujah. Amen. Not towards revenge, but to look towards forgiveness. Amen. Hallelujah. The goal as a Christian, when you get offended, is to look towards forgiveness. Yes. When you have been forgiveness, yes. the prior, the most important, you know, assignment at that time is to forget what you feel, but to look forward to forgiveness. Yes. Hallelujah. He says, Father, forgive them for not what they are doing. To say those words, you know, the Bible says that in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. Hallelujah. And the word was, was God. Everything that was made was made through him. But John 1 verse 4 says, the, then the word became flesh. Hallelujah. So Jesus Christ created the earth, created the sun, created everything. But the Bible says that during that time, the sun which he created couldn't watch any longer. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. The sun closed his eyes. Yes. The pain was so much. The egg which he made started to tremble. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. It couldn't take no longer. The egg shivered. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Amen. You know, he says, Father, forgive them. Yes. Father, forgive them. Yes. Because God can do anything. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ has the power. He, his father, hallelujah, you know, created the flood during the time of Noah. Hallelujah. The father is so powerful, he parted the Red Sea. The father is so powerful, he turned the water, the, the, the Nile River into blood. He could do anything. Hallelujah. He could look down and say, what are you doing to my son? But Jesus Christ didn't look upon himself. He looked upon the Father and said, Father, forgive them. Hallelujah. For they know not what they are doing. They knew all right. They knew what they were doing. I can tell you that. They knew what they were doing. They knew. They brought him to be that. They brought him to the king. And, you know, they, and he washed his hands. He says, no. He did nothing. They gave them the choice to say, do you choose Jesus or Barnabas? They chose Barnabas. They knew exactly what they were doing. The people who offend you know, know exactly what they are doing. Amen. But the Bible says we fight not against flesh and blood, but against principalities that are here. Hallelujah. In dark places. Hallelujah. When you get offended, do realize that it is not the person who offends you, but the spirit behind us. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, forgive them for they know not yes. what they were doing. Amen. They do not know what they were doing. You know, if they knew that, yes, tomorrow, the key to their salvation was Jesus Christ. Amen. Because they will be condemned to an everlasting life in death or to an everlasting life with Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. But now they knew. If they knew who Jesus was, Father, forgive them for they know what they are doing. If they knew that Jesus Christ had the keys Amen. to heaven, they wouldn't have done it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But they knew not what they were doing. Father, forgive them for they know not what they are doing. You know, I tell people, they say, Pastor, but you don't know what is done to me. Pastor, he has lied to me. Pastor, he has backstabbed me. Pastor, he has cheated on me. Pastor, you don't know. I say, forgive. Yeah. Forgive. For he has forgiven. Hallelujah. Forgive. For he has forgiven. My time has run out. Hallelujah. I wish I could go further. But my time doesn't allow. Hallelujah. Father, 